guys welcome back to my youtube channel i know it's been a really really long time and i always say this but nevertheless i'm back and as you can tell by the title i'm going to be doing a get ready with me it's been a really really long time since i've done this um so i figured i started off this youtube channel doing makeup and that's what this channel was geared more towards so let's just take it back to what i started so I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me today. I'm not really going anywhere, so I'm doing a soft glam, but I'm also gonna be using some brand new products that I bought like recently. I've never used them, so it's also gonna be like a first impressions review type of thing. So yeah, let's just get right into it. My face is clean and bare and ready for some makeup, so let's go. So first and foremost, let's start with a primer. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Primer. This is like my go-to. I really do enjoy this primer. Um, I want to try the Milk Hydro Grip, I think it's called, primer because I heard it was really, really good. Next, I'm going to go in with my Flower Beauty Light Illusion. Foundation, I haven't used this foundation in a really long time. It really is a good foundation because it's lightweight. I think it has like medium coverage. It's still nice though. And it gives you like a dewy, uh, a dewy feel. Ooh, I ain't been getting no sun. My vanity's right here, y'all. In case y'all wondering what I'm looking at. Don't ever forget to bring your foundation down to your neck, okay? Because you guys have to match. All right, so I don't know if you guys can tell in the camera, but this is a luminous foundation, like I said, so my face looks oily and greasy, but I am gonna set it with some setting powder. It feels good though on the skin. It makes me feel like my skin is moisturized. And again, it is really, really lightweight. That was the Flower Beauty Light Illusion. So this is a good um, foundation, I really do like it. Okay, so next I'm gonna do a little bit of concealer. Nothing too crazy. Okay. I think that's pretty much it. And because this is a dewy foundation, what I'm gonna do is set my entire face with setting powder. But before I do that, I'm gonna bake my under eyes to avoid any creasing. By the way, I used the e.l.f. Um, 16 hour camo concealer and the Kat Von D setting powder. Now I'm gonna set the rest of my face using the Revolution Bake and Blot. I just got this, so I really haven't used it. I don't know um, how good it is, but we're going to give it a try. And again, I'm just gonna set the rest of my face, including my neck, because the foundation was very uh, dewy. This is in the shade uh, translucent, by the way, so it has no color. And you wanna focus, whenever you guys put on um, setting powder, you wanna focus it in the areas where you tend to get greasy and oily throughout the day. So for me, it'll be my T-zone, which is right in this area, right here. We've been wearing masks lately, so you know, you wanna focus it right there in all those areas. And then using the same exact brush, I'm just gonna brush away, you know, that little baking powder that I used. Not me saying baking powder. 
um, the Kat Von D setting powder, excuse me. Forgot to do my eyebrows. I normally start off with that first. But anyway, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This is my favorite brow pencil. I have another vanity mirror right here, which is a little bit closer because of where the camera is angled. And because I'm doing like a soft glam, I'm just gonna go in with really light strokes. I'm not trying to even do too much to my eyebrows. Let's see if my eyebrows decide they wanna be twins, sisters, or cousins today. So this is as good as my eyebrows are gonna get because I should have done it before I started foundation or anything else, um, but I just didn't today, so. Okay, so now that the eyebrows are done, we can go ahead and finish with the rest of the face before I do like a soft glam on the eyes. I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. This is like my holy grail, my go-to. You can see how like ugly it already is, but I love this so much. So I'm going to use an angled brush to dip into the shade. This one right here, I don't know which one it is. And I'm just going to start carving my face. Okay, so that was my contour. Now I'm gonna use like a light bronzer just to give it like a sun-kissed look. And I'm gonna be using the House of House of Mirrors by ColourPop. Using the same brush. So first I did a contour, then I did a bronzer. Let me know in the comments if you guys like these type of videos, by the way. Like, would you rather me just do my makeup and talk about other things? Or would you rather me, like, actually tell you guys what I'm doing um, step by step? The next thing that I'm going to be using is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Blush. I just got this, like, two days ago. So, we're going to see how I like it. I never, ever, ever used blush before, y'all. I just recently started getting into it. So... You won't see. I'm scared. Can y'all see anything? Cause I can't. What happened? Oh, there it goes. I can see it now. Y'all probably can't see it, but I can see it here. It's like a super, it's like a peachy color. It's kind of pretty. Ooh, I don't know if I like blush that much. Maybe it's just this blush. I'm just blending the blush in with like the bronzer. And very light, light strokes because I'm trying to um, see if I like it or not okay so next we're going to use a highlight this is also a brand new highlight called crown of my canopy by wet and wild it's super pretty it's almost like a rose pink so we're gonna see if we like it or not I'm more into like light gold and like icy white kind of highlighters. I don't really. I don't know if I like this one. 
But that's pretty much the base of my face done. I don't always do my makeup in this order. In fact, I normally start with my eyebrows and my eyes, but I don't know what happened to me today. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this palette right here. It's called Infatuation. First, I'm gonna dip into the shade um, Personal right here as a transition, and I'm just gonna put that all over the lid. Next, I'm gonna go in with Oasis, which is right here where my thumb is. And I'm gonna apply that on um, like the crease of my eye. Just to like give it dimension and start building up the eyeshadow. Next, I'm gonna take a small brush like this and I'm going to cut my inner, my crease a little bit right here. I definitely said this was a soft land, but whatever. This part doesn't have to be perfect. So you should have something similar to this. And using this kind of brush, I'm gonna dip into the shade Whimsical, which is like the shimmer shade right here. I literally only used three shades from this palette. I used personal right here. I used personal as a transition shade. So I put it all over the lash. And then I used Oasis, which was like this uh, like light orange type of thing for the crease. And then I carved out the inner corner of my eye using concealer. And I pulled it together using um, Whimsical, this shade right here. That is this soft glam basically put together. Um, it was super simple. If it wasn't because I was filming, this probably would have took me maybe like 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and put some lashes on and I'll be right back. And we are back. So this is what the final look looks like with some lashes. The only thing left to do now is put on some mascara. So I'm going to be using the Too Faced better than sex mascara okay and for lip gloss today i think we are going to use the so juicy color pop in the shade roundabout this is supposed to be like a lip plumping lip gloss I don't really know if it is or not. I just like how it looks on my lips. But you know what? Before we even do that, I'm going to actually line my lips first. And I'm just going to use this MAC um, lip pencil. So, unfortunately, my camera died right as I was finishing off the lip gloss. But this is the final look. Like, the final, final look. So... Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick get ready with me. Let's not forget that we're still in a pandemic and COVID is still happening. So I am sorry for the delay in videos. Um, but make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And one last thing before I go, if you guys really are interested in these pieces that I have on, I'm going to link where I got these down below. I am now a partner with Lahara. Make sure you guys check them out because they have some really dope jewelry. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't be fake. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.